For those who didn't grow up in Oklahoma, it's a rivalry that seems strange. A matchup that throws out the national implications and focuses on its tangled engagement. Everyone always asks you if you're a fan of OSU or OU, and it's very divided. I'm actually the only one in my whole family that is an OU fan. Mom and dad, brother, uncles, aunts, they're all OSU fans. A game that separates families right down the middle. It's thicker than blood. More complicated than hate. One side orange and black, the other crimson and cream. Bigger than the playoffs, bigger than the Heisman. What really matters here is for the next year you get to tell your dad, your cousin, your brother, your wife. We beat the heck out of you guys this year. This is down the sideline. A house divided over a hundred years of conflict. Welcome to Bedlam. And if that doesn't get you fired up to watch this game, nothing will. Here we go, folks. Number five, OU, taking on number 11, Oklahoma State. Time now for the best seat in the house, sponsored by eBay. Fill your cart with color. Let's go downstairs to the all-American girl, Jenny Tan. Guys, thank you. Well, Mason Rudolph and James Washington came back for their senior season at Oklahoma State for one specific reason. What is that? To win a Big 12 championship game. And how did they do it? Well, the road to a championship goes through Bedlam. Both players have had some highs and lows when it comes to this rivalry. For Mason Rudolph, a high was 2014 and only his second career start in overtime victory. A low, his performance last year, a career worst. And when you ask him about it, he'll tell you, it is time for me to get that bad taste out of my mouth. But you know who wants to spoil the fun more than anyone else? Quarterback. Baker Mayfield, no one on the road is better than Mayfield. And when I talked to him this week, he said, I love the energy. I love going into a hostile environment where everyone is rooting against me and spoiling all of the fun. All right, thank you very much. Close to 60,000 in attendance. Ready to watch this game as we take a look at the series history. The Sooners have won two straight and 12 of the last 14 games since 2003. Last year, Oklahoma won the game 38-20 in Norman. 73, Tevin Jenkins, the right guard who's changed jerseys, is on the left side of your screen. First down at the 11. Here's a handoff, Hill. And... He's knocked down by Kenneth Murray, first man to him. Second down and nine at the 10-yard line. Rudolph hands it to Hill, tries to cut it back, but is stuck. And he may have lost a half yard on the play. Murray, first man to him again. First down and 10 of the 29 for Baker Mayfield. And he'll hand it off to Rodney Anderson, and he'll drag black jerseys with him as he gains nine yards on the play. Richards and Trey Flowers had to jump on his back to bring him down. They hand it off again, and a first down for OU, Anderson. Oklahoma has dodged two big bullets. They could be down 14 to nothing. Here's Mayfield, delivers, caught. This one in the crease, Michael Jones, his sixth reception of the year. Anderson, the deep back, first and 10 at the 49. Play fake, Mayfield goes through his progressions, wide open, caught, Dimitri Flowers, touchdown OU, 49 yards. Fourth receiving touchdown of the year for Flowers. The move that Flowers makes in the route is exceptional. Watch right here. Flowers is going to come out, and then the safety, which is Trey Flowers, his cousin, he's coming to guard him, and right here he's going to give an inside move. Flowers falls down, then his cousin Flowers catches the ball and takes it in the end zone. First down and 10 of the 25. Rudolph to the sideline. And knocked away. Well defended by Parnell Motley. Mayfield sprints out of the pocket, looks back, sides, got a receiver. Andrews has it. Andrews all the way down to the Oklahoma State 20-yard line. 
Edison Magruder with the tackle, but it's a 55-yard gain. First down at the 20. Mayfield, pump fake. Mayfield looking, scrambling. Steps up, delivers underneath. Brown again with the reception, and he goes out of play at the 10. Mayfield hands it off to Sermon, looking for the first down, and he has it. Continues to fight and crawls his way to the five. First down and goal at the five-yard line for OU. Mayfield gives it up. The end of round, but dead touchdown Sooners. Jeff Badette squeezing his way into the end zone. And Oklahoma takes a 13-10 lead. Boy, it was a race to that pylon. Badette has certainly got the Jets. Right here, he's going to turn it on, and now it's just a race, and he gets just inside of that pylon. Great block on the outside by number 17, Jordan Smallwood. Mayfield sprints out, throws on the run, caught, and a first down for Oklahoma as Michael Jones makes his second catch of the day. Second and nine of the 36. Here's the end around, the double reverse. Jones throws it and caught. What a catch by Trey Sermon as he goes up high and brings it down. Gus, they had the double reverse, but Sermon threw it back to Mayfield, who actually made the pass. I mean, there was so much going on in the backfield. See, right here, he pitches it to Mayfield, and then Mayfield basically throws a fadeaway, and they're able to get the completion. What an amazing play there, and a catch down the field by number four, Trey Sermon. 16-yard gain. First down to the 48 now for Oklahoma. Play fake, far side, caught, Brown running, Holly, Wood, Brown knocked out of play as he gets inside the 15. Check out Dimitri Flowers. He's going to be coming out from the fullback spot, and he's going to lay the key block on the outside right there. Boom! He's going to get A.J. Green on the ground. Brown waited and was patient enough to allow that block to happen, and then he takes off with the speed. Mayfield, quarterback draw. Mayfield, can he get outside? Mayfield, touchdown, OU. His fifth rushing touchdown of the season. How about this stiff arm from Baker Mayfield? He was going to get tackled for about one yard gain, maybe two, by Justin Phillips, number 19. And Mayfield just said, get out of my face, and runs to the pylon. Mayfield, a big guy. He weighs 220 pounds, 6'1". Well, this is what you got here, is that you're going to have Phillips, who reads it perfectly. And as Mayfield takes off, they clear out, and they run Sermon to the left. He looks over to the left, and right there, I mean, I think he's dead to rights. And boom, he just the stiff arm. Phillips can't get his arms close to him, and then Mayfield takes off and dives for the pylon. I wouldn't say he's overly fast or a great runner, but he is just competitive enough in those situations. But it looks like he has really quick feet. Yeah, great instincts, great feet. I think his feet, because they remind me of a middle infielder. You know, he can get himself balanced, ready to throw in the pocket. Then he can get outside of the pocket. He can throw from any angle. And right there, he shows you some of that upper body strength with that stiff arm. Mayfield to throw it. Pump fake. Guns it over the middle and caught by Hollywood Brown. Still running. Hollywood Brown all the way. Touchdown, Oklahoma. 84 yards. kidding me? Are you kidding me? Mayfield's going to be patient here, and his eyes are going to go on this side, and what you're going to finally see is that Brown waits, 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 and then he turns on the Jets. Once he turns on the Jets, it was over. That dude can fly. 
Brown, three catches, 129 yards, and a touchdown already. Mayfield, 10 of 17. 282 yards passing. He's got great arm talent. First down and 10 of the 25. Mayfield to throw it. Delivers. Ooh, look at that pass. And he finds Brown again, who gets out of bounds at the 40. And he'll hand it off. Actually throws it wide, and it's Sermon. Sermon still moving, and he gets close to a first down. That's why they gave him the job. Second and one at the 48. They hand it off to Sermon. And Sermon tried to get outside, but with Darius Williams says, not on my watch. First and 10 at the 47. Anderson and Sermon in the backfield. And they give it to Anderson. Anderson with running room. Anderson bounces it outside, stays on his feet, and goes out of bounds inside the Oklahoma State 30. That's a 20-yard gain. Trey Flowers knocks him out of play. When you watch this kid run, you got to understand that he's got good patience, and then he sets up his blocks well. He runs to color, okay? So he allows those wide receivers to just get in the way and runs opposite of that, setting up the defender to be wrong on the other side of that block. Second and 10. Mayfield. And he finds his receiver. It's Brown. Look at Hollywood. Lights. Camera. Action, folks. <laughs> and he's not from Hollywood, California. He's from Hollywood, Florida. Oh, he will forever be known as Hollywood. Now, he's like taking on the nickname. Look at him. He's like just the dip back right there. He lets the defender fall in front of him. Takes off for a first down. And they give it to Anderson, touchdown OU, 14 yards. Track beat, 34-24. OSU did a great job. They get into the backfield here, right here. This is Cole Walter Sheet, and he's going to get inside of his man and actually contact Anderson in the backfield. Right there, you think to yourself, oh, the play's dead. Anderson breaks the tackle, gets downfield, sets up his blocks well. Mayfield to throw it over the middle, wide open. And this time, it's Michael Jones who's been making some big plays in this first half. That's a 31-yard game. Mayfield fires, caught near side, and it's Brown again. And I tell you, when I watch, Here's Mayfield, finds a receiver, C.D. Lane, and he's down inside the five. And it's good. Make sure you're playing off these wide receivers, not in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Third down and one, Hill looking for the first down, and he's tackled for a loss. Great job by that. Oklahoma defense, D.J. Ward leading the way. Oboe in on the play as well. Flowers goes in motion. Mayfield under pressure. Throws, caught, and a first down. Marquise Brown again. Eight catches, 188 yards, and a touchdown for Hollywood Brown. Anderson. And Anderson. Finally driven to the ground by Calvin Bundage, but another big game. Anderson, first down and more. Gets to the 40, still running as he high steps to midfield. A 22-yard pickup, Whitener with the tackle. What happens here is you're going to get a blitz on both sides, and what that's going to do is open up the middle. Now, as the middle linebacker overruns this, he gets blocked right there. Good block by Flowers, and then the whole hole opens up for Anderson, but that's created by too much upfield movement by those outside linebackers. Here's Mayfield. Delivers. Andrews with the catch and another first down for OU. As he gets to the Oklahoma State 40, Whitener. Andrews, the Mackey Award tight end of the week honoree. As Anderson runs it again, Rodney Anderson. Third and six at the seven. Rudolph with time. Rudolph hit, picked up, almost got it at the Cowboy 10.
A huge turnover. Kenneth Mann, number 55, here he comes. From the defensive tackle position, he's gonna go all the way past Rudolph as Rudolph tries to come up in the pocket. He spins back, and then the ball gets knocked loose. Obo Garonquo, he's spinning back to try to pursue the quarterback, and it falls right into his lap. What a fortuitous bounce for Oklahoma, and great effort by Kenneth Mann to spin back, get himself in position to make that hit, and bring Rudolph to the ground while knocking the ball loose and creating a short field for the offense. Man, a redshirt sophomore from Burleson, Texas. Comes in to attempt a 36 yarder. And good. Rudolph pumping, looking, in trouble. Dumps it off. Washington tries to spin out of trouble, but no go. Caleb Kelly says, Come here. Second down and nine. Rudolph fires deep. That would throw. And Washington had two hands on it. Stephen Parker breaks it up in the end. And that was so close. I mean, perfect timing by Stephen Parker because Washington's got a step. But then at the last moment, right when that ball hits his hands, Parker is there then to break it up over the shoulder, kind of grabbing those arms down. <laughs> Rudolph off his back. And that's the second turnover for Mason Rudolph today. A fumble and now an interception on his own, on the three yard line. They're gonna try the fake and then he's gonna be trying to throw this little skinny post to Marcel Aitman on the outside. But what he doesn't see is Oklahoma dropped two guys off in coverage. And Will Johnson falls right into the lap of the play and executes perfectly. Did he hold on before he hit the ground? He did, secures it. Interception, Oklahoma. My goodness, what a play from Will Johnson. That's certainly a mistake, not just from Rudolph, but also the play selection. You've got Hill running the ball well on the inside. Mayfield, look at Mayfield, delivers to the sideline. Caught Andrews. And Mark Andrews. Gates 37 yards, Rodarius Williams with the tackle. I mean, this guy gets so open all the time, and I don't quite understand it because you got to understand where he's at. Two guys go with the true freshman C.D. Lamb, leave Andrews wide open along the sideline, and he makes him pay. He's got three grabs for 102 today. Baker Mayfield throws, has Anderson. First down, Anderson. Can he get there? Suiters, what a play, 43 yards. Baker, Magic, Mayfield. Anytime you fake the ball to a running back, generally the defense loses him in coverage. And as Anderson kind of leaves the backfield, there's nobody there. He's wide open. Mayfield threw another one of those kind of fadeaway passes from his right. Second and six from the 41. Mason Rudolph. Plant spins and sacked for the first time today. D.J. Wolf. Second and 10 of the 23. Mayfield winds up down the field. Hollywood! Touchdown! Suitors! 77 yards! Who is this kid? Where'd he come from? He was a junior college transfer from the College of the Canyons. That's where he came from but he originated out of Hollywood, Florida. Baker Mayfield has tremendous arm strength, doesn't get enough credit. Check this out, back foot, throws it late, but way down the field, over the defense. Brown is back there. Second down and 10 at the 34. And a delayed handoff to Hill. And Oklahoma ready for it. As Devontae Lampkin and Caleb Kelly Combined on the tackle. His team up 55-52. Let's see. 
Mayfield pulls it out, decides to run it himself. Here's the magic man, first down. As he crosses the 35 up to the 36, an 18-yard gain. What a great fake. Check out, his eyes are going to go onto this side, and as the defense totally collapses down, there's the collapse. He pulls the ball out, finds room to run, and he takes off. Again, he's not the fastest runner, but he's unafraid of contact. Gets up, and he lets everybody know about it. Third and seven at the 38. Mayfield looking. Mayfield delivers, and it's caught for first down. C.D. Lamb. Mayfield, play fake. Mayfield looking. Mayfield caught over the middle at the 40. Michael Jones with another big reception. What a great job by Mayfield. He was able to be patient, kept his eyes down the field. Good protection up front. It starts with the offensive line, and then he allows C.D. Lamb to just come open across the middle and find the hole. There Lamb finds the hole, able to settle down just a moment and get the completion and a huge conversion for the Sooner. Rudolph under pressure, and Rudolph sack. What a huge play. Obo. First sack of the day, his eighth of the season. And it's just a soft inside move. This is a total breakdown of coverage and protection, I should say, from Zachary Crabtree. Third and 20, Rudolph looking, dancing. Rudolph intercepted Oklahoma. And a flag. Trey Brown. Guys, I think they're talking about a potential targeting foul on Will Johnson. This would be a monumental call in this game, and they are trying to make sure. After the interception, targeting Oklahoma number 12. That plays under further review. Well, the tip happens. Okay, here's in the back. There's your safety, Will Johnson, number 12. And as the route comes across the field after the tip, almost simultaneously with the catch, there's the contact with the wide receiver with his head down. He's trying to move that head to the side and lead with the shoulder. Oh my goodness, this is this is a tough one. Now they said in the announcement, Mike DeFee said that it was after the interception. That is a huge point of demarcation there. And it certainly looked like it was bang bang close to simultaneous. Dean Blandino is with us, Dean. Yeah, I'm looking at this, and Joel makes a good point. The referee announced it occurred after the interception. Now, that's not reviewable. All they can look at is the contact. After reviewing the play, the ruling of targeting stands. It was clearly, the foul clearly occurred prior to the change of possession. By rule, by rule, the ball, the penalty will be enforced 15 yards from the previous spot because it was a pass play. It's first and 10. Number 12 is disqualified. Third and eight at the 38. Rudolph underneath. Incomplete. So now a fourth down. Caleb Kelly getting his hands on the football to deflect it. Kelly just got up there, just enough of this ball, or else that was going to be a completion. And it looks like Oklahoma State will stay on the field and go for it on fourth down. Rudolph looking. Rudolph delivers. Incomplete. Overthrow intended for Johnson. And the Cowboys turn it over on down.
hand it off straight ahead. And Sermon dragging defenders. He's close to a first down. First down, Oklahoma, and even more. Sermon still on the move. Sermon to the corner. Touchdown, Sooners. 53 yards. for Oklahoma State was up near the line of scrimmage. They had to stop them, not allow the first down. And because of that, it takes only one crease. Once they got it, he was gone. Austin Seibert comes in to attempt the extra point, and it's good. OU, 785 yards of total offense. There's going to be a free player on defense that's got a shot at the tackle. As he starts squeezing down, Sermon, it's him and him, one-on-one. -on -one. Sermon breaks the tackle, makes the cutback, and then beats everybody to the end zone. What a performance. What a game. There's the broken tackle. Trey Flowers couldn't bring him to the ground. Flowers, the senior, in his last chance in Bedlam. And Oklahoma is going to take home a victory. Everything's set up for Oklahoma State to go down the field. They get the benefit of that reversal and the targeting that would have been an interception, keep the ball, and then they just could not execute. Remember, Washington wasn't on the field. Rudolph dancing around, throws it deep. And intercepted in the end zone by Robert Barnes. And that's your ball game. Oklahoma 62, Oklahoma State 52. Lincoln Riley gets his first Bedlam victory. As you take a look at the Big 12 standings, OU 5-1, 8-1 overall. They win the game, and Baker Mayfield, the magic man, is officially the front runner for the Heisman Trophy. 598 yards passing, five passing touchdowns, one rushing touchdown. A new Oklahoma single game passing record. Let's go downstairs to Jenny Taft. All right, Baker, I'll let you enjoy this, but you're three for three at Bedlam. 598 yards, you threw four tonight. You somehow find a way to not only rise to the occasion, but to exceed it in this matchup. How did you do it? Got great coaches, great teammates, you know. I mean, talk about the guys that were making plays for me tonight. I mean, Marquise Brown had a heck of a night, uh, you know, up front. Offensive line's great. Um, you know, I'm surrounded by a great supporting cast, and uh, we did well. Uh, you know, I could go without the two interceptions, but uh, we came out with the win, and quite frankly, that's all that matters. You guys have a saying around your program, Championship November. What kind of statement did this performance make in terms of what you guys are capable of accomplishing? Uh, you know, it's a great win for us. You know, Oklahoma State's a great team, obviously a great offense. So it was a huge win for us, you know, implications going forward, um, you know. And, and then we just got to take care of this one and go on to the next. So TCU's coming up next. Last year, you had a T-shirt under that jersey. I have to ask, are you wearing anything under there about back to back to back? No, I, I, I had it made, but uh, that, that's for the Big 12, not, not Bedlam. All right, maybe we'll see it then. Thanks for your time. Thank you. All right, the final score here at Boone Pickett Stadium, Oklahoma 62, Oklahoma State 52. Partner, what a classic game. Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, you just got the sense it was going to be who had the ball last, and yet, in the end, the two biggest possessions of the game, right at the end, it was the defenses that actually made plays. First, it was the interception from Oklahoma State that presented the opportunity to go down and win the game. And then with three true freshmen in the secondary on the field, they hold Mason Rudolph 
and get the fourth down executed and get the ball back. That was sensational. All right, let's go downstairs to Jenny Taff, who's standing by with Coach Riley. Well, I got to ask you about your quarterback first because the performance he put on tonight, he always says he rises to the occasion here. Five touchdowns. He breaks a school record in the air. What can you say about his leadership? Just what he's done. It's what he's done for three years. You know, he's, he's the best player in the country. He's been for a long time. He is right now, and I think that was pretty clear tonight. There has been a consensus from the team about the goals and how far you want this group to go. How proud are you of the fight, and what do you think you can accomplish this year? Yeah, uh, we had to have a lot of fight. You know, there's no doubt. It was a game of runs. You know, we were able to kind of limit their run early in the game. Then we went through ours, and it was just back and forth. It was two really good teams. You know, both quarterbacks were, I mean, the quality of offensive play and, and just the throws and catches were unreal. So, uh, but I'm proud of our guys. We're, we're not perfect. We're getting better, but we're good at winning. A little tired after that one? I'm, oh, I'm great. Excited <laughs> to go celebrate back in Norman. All right, go enjoy right. it. Thanks, Th Coach. Thanks, Jenny. Thanks. All right, so Baker Mayfield, what a game. Close to 600 yards passing. Five touchdowns, a rushing touchdown. He threw two interceptions. But his leadership, when it counted most, he threw that big-time pass to Marquise Brown. As you take a look at his career numbers in Bedlam. I'll tell you, this guy, I, I have not seen many players in my lifetime that rise to the occasion on the road that that play huge in these big moments and he's done that year after year after year as a starting quarterback for the Oklahoma Sooners. Yeah, this this guy started early. It was a great ball to Dimitri Flowers. He gets in for the touchdowns, runs it in, the great stiff arm against Phillips. And Mayfield was fired up, I tell you what. And then the accurate throws, that's what allowed Marquise Brown the opportunity to run after the catch. Anderson gets into the end zone. Baker Mayfield, he's your Heisman Trophy front runner, folks, and it's not really close after tonight. 598 through the air. Got to be kidding me, man. This kid can play. The Oklahoma Sooners improved to 8-1, and 5-1 in the Big 12 as they win Bedlam 62-52. For Joe Clatt and Jenny Taft, I'm Gus Johnson saying so long from Stillwater, Oklahoma. After this commercial, we'll get you out to New York for the UFC 217 prelim. So long, everybody.